The reason why some of us are not sticking to our budget is because here's why. You never really answered why. You never really spent the time to say, why do I want what I want? What is it that I, that, that I desire? Why do I want to be debt free? Why do I want financial freedom? Why do I want to pay off my mom's house? Why? Why? I think that's a question that you should ask yourself going into the next year. Why? Why do you want the financial freedom that you desire? Man, I, I'm telling you, I, I can't, I can't wait to get married and be like, babe, let's let's get up and go to Hawaii. It's Thursday and say, babe, let's go to Hawaii tomorrow. My family growing up, we never did that. We never had family vacations. What is that? The only kind of family vacation we had was get up and go to my grandma's house. We didn't get away and go to Alaska. My parents couldn't take us to Disney World, Disneyland like that. They, we didn't go out of the country as a family. The reason why I'm able to stick to my vision is because when I think about the freedom I'm going to have for my wife gets me so excited. The freedom and the options and the opportunities I'm going to have for my family gets me so excited. What's your why? One of the, one of the habits that you got to avoid is not having a vision and not having a why behind your vision when it comes to your money. You have to get on the vision and you have to be willing to adapt and adjust your, your monthly vision until you can really get it nailed down. Because I'm gonna be honest with you, some of you all are gonna feel convicted, you're gonna get, a, you're gonna get on a budget, then you're gonna get discouraged because your budget didn't really work out the first month. Here's the thing. Give yourself some grace. Give yourself a solid three months to do this. Once you get past that third month, I guarantee you, if you are honest, you are going to love the You're going to have freedom. You're going to have freedom. Y'all saw the video of me walking to go buy my mom a $3,000 purse. Man, I, I, I wasn't tripping because you know what? It was in my budget and I had the freedom. When I purchased my car, I purchased the ultimate dream car. It felt good to walk in there because I gave myself permission to do it. Because it was in my budget and it's been in my budget for a long time. I was saving for it. I don't think y'all remember, but a couple of years ago, I turned in my BMW and then my uncle hooked me up with a, uh, a Porsche, right? But he hooked me up so much to he was like, hey, rock with this for a certain amount of time and we're gonna go ahead and get your ultimate but it was in my budget i was planning i was strategizing i was properly priorly planning for the things that i desired and if you join me on that i promise you you'll be successful here's here's number two here's the number two habit that i that as i am as i am coaching as i am mentoring as i am studying uh this is something that i think we all we i'm saying we I'm not saying you, I'm saying we, you, you and I have to watch. And number two is, is, is eating out and overspending on food. Man, I, I, I remember I went, to, um, I went to the grocery store one day, man, and I went there, actually last month, and I went there and I was hungry. Man, I was getting everything that I knew I liked. Because I was thinking I'm about to eat all of it right now. I got home and I realized I didn't buy groceries. I purchased a bunch of snacks. 
Like I, I didn't go in there with the plan. I didn't go in there saying, all right, get some ground, get some turkey, get some ground beef, you know, get some chicken, get this. Man, I came out there with some Oreo cookies. I came out there with some gummies. I came out there with some Kool-Aid, some iced tea, some uh, some chips, some barbecue chips with that ranch dip. I mean, I, I got home and I was like, I didn't get no groceries. I had a bunch of snacks. What? And then check this out, on my way home from the grocery store, but all these snacks still stopped by and picked me up something to eat. So I, I went to the grocery store to get some food so I can go home. I'm keeping in the buck about myself, y'all. Got the groceries, didn't even make it home. I passed this nice little home cooking spot, got me a nice little uh, shrimp po' boy with some sweet tea, half lemonade, Get home, I tear it up. Then when I go to put the groceries up, I'm like, I ain't got no groceries. Everything's going to my cabinet. No meats, no nothing. It's all cabinet stuff. And I was like, Anthony, Anthony. So it's like, for me now, what I do is, I, I literally, I, I promise you, this is what I tell myself. Before I go into any grocery store, I go in there with a the list. And I do not go in there when I'm hungry. The average household throws away $640 of food each year and spends $3,008 annually just on eating out. Listen, the average person in America um, is going to be making in between thirty eight to about $44,000. That's gross. So if we're looking at thirty eight dollars as a single person, that means you're making about $30,000. Take $3,000 off of that $30,000, that means that person is making $27,000. Take their rent off of that thing, that means they're down to about, right at about ten dollars uh, Ten to fifteen thousand dollars a year that they have to spend. So we're not talking about the average car note out there. We're not talking about the living expenses. And then right now, with inflation being high as heck right now, that this study was from last year. So we're probably up right now when it comes to you know food and eating out. Okay, but I really want you to think about this. Um, if you eat at home instead of for eating out, let's just say at least. 80 to 90% of the time, you could be saving yourself about $3,000 a month, I mean, a year on just from eating out. Now, I'm not saying never eat out because, I mean, that's that's not realistic. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, you don't need to eat out at all. No. Um, my thing is at make adjustments. Make some major adjustments. If you're eating out at 100%, okay, eat out. Start off by saying, you know what? We're going to eat out 25% of the time. I was um, talking to... Um, I wouldn't say my new trainer, but one of my good friends is he's a uh, college athletic director and he is responsible for keeping them, you know, healthy and in shape and eating right and working out. There's a lot with the NFL. There's a lot in the D1 schools. And he was like, Anthony, my strategy is for me when he's on his regiment, right? He says 80, 80, 20, eat 80 percent clean and then just enjoy 20 percent. He's like, because sometimes what what reason why people do not get to the success that they desire, whether this is getting out of debt, whether this is building wealth, whether this is get losing weight, whether this is losing and picking up muscle. He was like, they try to go 100 percent in. They go 100 percent in for 30 days, but then they realize they cannot maintain that lifestyle. So they give up. He was like, so my philosophy is, all right, cool. If you're eating unhealthy 100%, start off eating healthy 60%. And then as you improve your body and your body grows, you know, let's go to 70%. As that gets more comfortable, let's go to 80%. Then he says, when you get to 80%, just live right there because you can maintain that. So that simply means out of seven days out of the week, Anthony, at least 45% of the week, uh, 45 days out of the week, I'm eating good. And then I'm enjoying, I'm eating chicken and waffles. I'm having macaroni and cheese. Like I'm enjoying myself because I can maintain that. And so what I'm telling you all is, man, you know what? Let's maybe eat at home 80% of the month. And then leave room with inside of your vision and your budget for your money to enjoy 20% of the month. Maybe go out to dinner. It's a date night. Maybe that's, you know, treating yourself out to a nice steak at, you know, Prime Steakhouse or Eddie V's or Ruth Chris. I don't know. But the key thing here is we are we are one sticking to the budget Two inside of that budget. We're giving ourselves some allowance to go out. Maybe that may be 100, 200 bucks for the month for you. I don't know. But whatever that is, 80 percent of it, you're eating home. You're, you're, you're eating at home. You want a steak? Get that steak at the crib.
Okay? You you want to go out there and get you a nice little cocktail? Hey, mate, get that cocktail at the crib. Okay? You want some wine? Hey, go pop that bottle in your in your refrigerator at the crib. All right? I really want you to stay focused on your goals. Because eating out is costing us money. Think about it. That is $3,000 invested. You that is gold. That, that is gold. That's more than $100 a month that you could be putting into your retirement. And I'm gonna do a whole video on the power of $100, even still during inflation. We have that coming up either this month or next month. I can't remember. Uh, but I'm doing a video on the power of just $100, on how if you invest $100, how that can still mean millions for you. But are you investing it properly? We're gonna talk about it. That's why you need to hit that subscribe button. That's why, okay? That's why you need to hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. That's why, that's why you need to be subscribing because you shouldn't be missing content like this and you should be sharing this content.